That is so wild. That's so crazy. Hey guys, we're at Palms Book National Park, uh, State Park, <laughs> and we're gonna be going on the Itchy Kippy. Kippy. Kippy? It's really hard to say. Itchy. 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 Kippy? Kitchy? Itty Kippy? Yeah, oh, I think that was it. Nailed it. And we're going to be going on this raft tour and it's a spring fed lake and it's super clear and you can see straight down. I think it's at like 70 feet deep but I'm not quite sure how deep it is but I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> I like to figure out how things work so check this out it's on a cable system to hold it straight in line to go across the lake and these cables go all the way back through the woods and attach they go let's see, all the way back attached to the trees back there attached to the trees there and then even farther back pretty cool and look at this water too Northern Michigan, UP, what is it? It's probably not even 40 degrees. I'm kidding, what temperature is it? <laughs> 37 degrees. 37 degrees, even though it's that cold, I still see a crock. There's a crock out there. Crikey, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the guy that closed the gate, um, and we thought we were not yeah, allowed on there. official <laughs> yeah. he, he didn't seem to, he walked away with another family, so. Oh my gosh, look down here. So apparently, we're, this is like self-serve here. Wow. Oh, I see it. That is awesome. Hey, all those people don't know nobody's in charge here. You should make up a speech. <laughs> So there's nobody here to run the boat, so we got to figure it out. Look, it says, <laughs> it says to operate the raft, close the entry gate, check, push down on the small lever, this one, check, push the big lever. On top all the way. You look like you know what you're doing already. I don't know. That's it? Oh, down. down. That's it. There's a pitcher. Look, there's pitchers too. Push it over to the oh, yeah. Is Is that... on top? <laughs> right. I think you were doing it right. Try the big one. Try the big one. We need more muscle. Turn large while we need to move across the cable. Yeah, but that's what we need more people on the back side so that it goes a bit lower and then we can. On, on yeah. this side or that side? On this, this side. side. This side? Yeah, I'm over here. I'm side. trying to help a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah, I we might need your power to pull this up there. Is it all stuck or there? it goes. All right. Now we can move on. Good teamwork. All right. And then turn the big wheel. Beauty. Self-serve attraction, awesome. Yeah, we're moving. There we go. <laughs> that is so wild. That's so crazy. So you gotta pull the lever really hard, apparently. Get one big guy or a bunch of little guys and get that thing pulled over there. <laughs> Turn it for a little bit so you can look. Yeah, absolutely. Where was that? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
was a whole lot of fun. And now we are gonna go check into our campground. We have reservations at Indian Lake State Park and Autumn, you need to come out of the road. <laughs> and the reason why we didn't go get set up and then come here and do this is because they're calling for bad weather tomorrow, thunderstorms throughout the day. So we wanted to make sure we got to see this before we got checked into the campground because we would have been really sad if we had to miss it. So it's awesome. The park stays open till 10 at night. So I'm trying to think of how, do they have lights under there? I don't know if they do nighttime tours. That might be something we need to look into because it was definitely more cool when you got to where the sun was over the water. It just made everything brighter and clearer. So it would be super cool if they had lights under there at nighttime. I don't know. Maybe just under the docks? I don't know. If you know, let us know. We're gonna fill the water too. Important to know, if you're not used to doing this sort of thing, never fill your fresh water tank with the line at the dump station. There's usually another hose farther up that you can fill your fresh water tank with. Not safe for drinking at the dump station. Then farther up here where it can't reach the dump station, they have one that is water safe for drinking. Showers, dishes, all that stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and fill up now and then head to the campsite. Just like that. If you found value in this video, please consider subscribing and hit the bell for notifications on RV related tours, upgrades, repairs, and adventures. Thanks for coming along. We'll catch up with you next time.